In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your sync slicers so that you can have a finer control over your slicer behaviors. We're going to go through each of these different settings and how they affect your different slicers across your different pages. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So Sync Slicers, if you haven't used it yet, is basically a feature that lets you mimic or transfer the selection that you made from one slicer in one page to another. And how it works is actually fairly intuitive. So let me just give you a brief recap on what it does. So here in this report, very basic report, I've simply created two pages. So the page one has a slicer called category name and using this slicer lets you select and change the what, which sales are being shown in this line chart. We also have set up a page two here, which is basically just the, the slicer as well. And they're not linked or synced yet, but uh, this one also lets you filter the tables or visuals in this page. Now, if you go from page one and let's say you want to be looking at the specific categories, for example, you want to just look at beverages and as a user, you might just want to see how the beverages are across the different pages. So when you go to page two, as you can see here, it's not selected, even though you've selected it in the first page. So to make this user experience a lot smoother, you typically would want to make sure that those slicers are synced so that the users don't have to always keep clicking to the right combination of slicers that they want. So the easiest and most intuitive way that you can do this is by simply going to, well, first let's delete this second one. So the one from page two, we're going to copy this visual, the slicer visual from page one, and then paste it on page two. And as I paste it, as you can see, it gives me the option to sync these visuals. So it gives you, basically, this is the option that will allow you to sync those selections. So if you click sync, you now have implemented syncing slicers. So if you make a selection here, beverages, for example, if you go back to the page one, you see that it preserves those selections, vice versa from the page one, to page two, there we go. So that's pretty much the basic premise of syncing slicers. But Power BI gives you far more controls than just these. So today we're gonna explore some of those different controls that you can use. So when you go to the view panel here, you will see that you have this other pane called sync slicers. Now sync slicers is specifically a pane for kind of syncing your slicers across your different pages. So as you can see, there's nothing at the moment in this pane. And that's because I need to have a slicer selected for some options to show here. So let's select the slicer visual that I have here. And here we go. So we have something new here that we can look at. So there are a few things here, but the main thing are the tables here with the pages. So we have both of the pages that we have at the moment, page one and page two. And then you have a few tick boxes here. So the first one is for the syncing of the slicer. So the one that lets you preserve from going from one page to another. There's also another toggle here for the visibility. So if the slicer is visible from one page or not. So let's test out how this works, right? So let's, uh, so we are in page two. And if I deselect this syncing slicer here, and I make another selection on the, on this one. So let's say seafood. If we go back to the first page, you see that the syncing has now disappeared. So it doesn't sync anymore. So that toggle is what gets enabled automatically when we click that sync button, when we copy pasted it from page two. So just enabling that, just make sure that you are able to sync across pages. So you see it doesn't, it's not synced anymore. But if you select or sync that, make a selection, it's back to normal. So the other toggle, the visibility, just simply hides or shows the slicer in those pages. So for example, from here, if we hide this slicer from page one, it will make the slicer kind of disappear. You can still enable it from the selection pane here. As you can see here, it's just hidden, but it's still there. So you can 
have that or choose to hide the one in page two. The important thing to know here is that the selections or the slicer selections that you've created will still apply even though that visual is hidden. So for example, if we hide the one in page two and we make another selection here like seafood for example, and then let's go to page two, as you can see, it's still syncing what you've selected across those two different slicers, except the only difference is that in page two, that slicer has sort of disappeared. Um, if you don't want that, you just simply go back to the slicer that you have, or if you can't select it, just enable it manually from the selection pane and just customize your sync slicers accordingly. The next one is this button, the add and sync with all pages. Now we have the same slicer across all of our pages anyway, so we don't really need that. But this is really helpful if you have, let's say a lot of pages. So I'm gonna create some fake pages here. And um, if I click on this slicer and I click this selection here, it will just add all of those slicers across all of those pages. So if we go to page three, you'll see there is there and it's synced, vice versa, vice versa. So it just saves you a lot of time kind of, you know, recreating or managing these slicers across pages. So now let's move on to the more advanced settings. So let's select this uh, slicer for now and let's expand advanced options. So there are a few things here that you can use. So sync slicers, when you create them for the first time, automatically creates a group name for these slicers. So at the moment, all of our slicers are synced because they belong to the same group. Now they will break, so that means that they won't sync to each other if they belong to a different uh, group name. So for example, here from page one, if I make a selection, you can see that it syncs across these different pages. Now, if I go to this slicer now and change the group name here for this first slicer, and I make a selection, as you can see, the syncing breaks. And that's because the grouping is not really there anymore. I don't really, typically touch this, so I don't imagine you would need to, but it's there if you want to make use of it. So let's move on to this next option here, which is the sync field changes to other slicers. So this means if the field changes here in our slicer, should it apply to the other pages slicers as well? So leaving it on by default, what happens is it, at the moment we have the category names, but if we change that to, let's say the product names, from this page two, if you go to the different pages, you'll see there they all change accordingly. So they all are now like listing out the different products. And uh, you know, like that's basically what it means. Now, if I deselect that, and uh, let's say, let's change this back to being a category. If you go back to the other pages, it doesn't change back with it. So that's basically what that toggle does. So the last toggle that we have available for us is this sync filter changes to other slicers. Now, this basically means if you have a filter on this slicer visual, should that filter also apply to the other visuals? And uh, let me just show you exactly what it does. So we'll leave it on by default. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add filter here on this slicer. So let's just say I want to just be able to select beverages. Yeah, actually, let's just say that the selection or the option should just be beverages in this slicer. And if you have that on by default, you will see that on the different pages, that filter that you have applied on that slicer is also being applied to those other slicers in those visuals. So although this is now using a different field, the filter is still being applied. But if you remove that, so if you just deselect that and make your changes, so let's say we just wanna clear the filters, that won't now apply to, well, it won't sync anymore. So if you make any changes to the filters on this slicer, it won't apply to other slicers in those pages. Now we headed back to page one here, but just because it still has the slicer. So just one thing to note, if you are kind of working with the syncing, enabling or disabling the syncing, basically just creates a link or deletes the link across the different slicers. So if you deselect it, it doesn't automatically remove any filters or selections that you've done. It just simply breaks the link. So you'll have to kind of manage those manually. 
And that's really it for this video. So syncing slicers is just one of the aspects of you know what you can use to kind of customize your slicers visuals. If you want to learn more about slicers and some of the other tricks that you can use, I did cover it in a separate video. So check it out if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't. Send it to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.